Hi to everyone, this is Kokhle Priya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science. Today I am going to discuss about Linux and Shell Programming. Tricks with Shell Scripting Environment variables, read-only variables, command line arguments and create handle arrays the following various steps such as interactive shell scripts and reading from the keyboard. Next one is using the here operator. Next file handling, enabling debugging, syntax checking, shell tracing, interactive shell scripts. The read command is a shell built-in command for reading data from file or keyboard. The read command receives the input from the keyboard or a file until it receives a new line character. Then it converts the new line character into a null character. Read a value and store it in the variable shown as follows. Read variable, echo variable. Next one is file handling. Handling files for reading and writing. Automating decision making in scripts. You will learn about checking various attributes of files along with decision making constructs such as if, case and similar introducing file handling the executive command is very interesting. Whenever we run, run any command and shell, the new subset or process get created. And the command runs in this newly created process when we run any command as argument to the executive command. Executive will replace the current shell with the command to be executed. Next one is debugging. The initial problem with computers were due to real insects. Due to this, fault finding was later called as finding a bug. Therefore, the process of finding and uh, fixing the problems in computers was called a debugging. The process of debugging involves the following, finding out what has gone wrong 54, fixing the problem, formatting decision making in scripts, the following various steps such as using if else, switching case, using select. Formatting repetitive task. The various types of repetitive tasks such as for loop, while loop, do while loop. Looping with for command. For ITT operations, the boss shell uses three types of loops for, while and until. Using the for looping command, we can execute a set of commands for a finite number of times for every time in a list. In the for loop, command the user defined variable is specified working with functions the advantages of functions are follows if the script is very big then understanding it, it becomes very difficult using functions we can easily understand complex script through logical blocks or functions when a big and complex script is divided into functions then it becomes easy to develop and test the script Set time part of code is repeated again and again in the big script then using functions to re replace repetitive code is very practical such as checking whether the file or directory is present or not. We define functions for specific tasks or activities such as functions can be called as command in scripts. Thank you.